Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll talk about database and instance. Let's start with the basics. What are the main components of a server? Disk, memory, and CPU, central processing unit. A server could have more than one CPU, memory unit, and disk, of course, right? But these are the main components. Let's talk about database. Database resides in the disk. What is a database? Database is simply a collection of files which are sitting on the disk. What kind of files? There are two main types of files. Database files and non-database files. Okay? There could be multiple database files and multiple non-database files. What is in the database files? Mainly the data, of course, and it could it also have metadata, which is data about the data structures. For example, uh, table, column names, etc., etc. Okay. Now, non-database files mainly contain logs of various types. It's important to note that all these files are changing on moment-to-moment -moment basis. Okay, uh, so there is a consistency that if you want to copy all the files from one location to to another, you have to take a point-in-time picture of all these files. Okay, because they are changing uh, each moment, and uh, they have to be consistent. Let's talk about physical structure. Okay. Now, all these database files, is a collection of database files, have a physical structure. Okay. Uh, they can be broken down into separate files. For example, data file 1, data file 2, data file 3, redo log file 1, redo log file 2, archive log file 1, etc., etc. So they can be, this whole collection can be broken down into physical units. Okay, now the details of physical structure we will cover in coming tutorials, but I'm trying to make some other point here. I'm trying to give, uh, I'm trying to put, uh, tell you here that you can look at this collection of database file from two angles. One is physical structure, and the other is logical structure. Okay, because most of the objects that you see on in the query tool, like tables, views. They are logical in nature, they are virtual in nature. Okay, so you can uh, br break down the whole collection uh, as into logical units. So, for example, one object, which is, for example, table is a logical object, right? It's not whenever you create a table, it's not that Oracle creates a file in the back end representing the table. Okay. Uh, part of the table could go in one file part of the table could be sitting on some other file okay but whenever you're going to query the table the whole table is going to appear as as one uh, logical unit to you on the query tool okay so it's important to note that there is no direct relationship between uh, logical structure units and physical units one logical unit could go in one physical unit or could be sitting on multiple physical units okay so it's no one on one relationship here Okay, is a one to many relationship. Okay. Now let's talk about instance. The problem is that most people use instance the word instance and, and database interchangeably. They're two different things. Okay. Now database is simply collection of files. Instance are programs or software running in the memory. Now, Oracle Instance, con of course, consists of multiple processes. The whole collection is called Instance. Okay. Now, Instance talks to the database. It may write new information on the database, or it may read information out of database. All these processes, uh, the whole Instance, uh, as as a whole, in, uh, is talking to the database continuously. Not only that, Instance is also using CPU resources. Okay, so you can have a setup 
such that there are two instances running in the memory and both instances are talking to the same database okay but real power comes in when you put two instances or more than one instance on a different machine okay so this instance on a different machine this instance is on a different machine and both of these instances are using a database maybe residing on a, a third machine okay this environment is called real application cluster or rack environment okay and uh, so this is pretty much it about this tutorial I w the main message in this tutorial I want to give you is what is an instance what is a database okay this is a very high level picture and now uh, in coming tutorials we will go in details alright so we're gonna take a step by step learning approach and gradually uh, you will become a professional DBA okay I see you in next tutorial.